joining YouTube. I, oh, I'm trying to be upbeat, but I have in fact tweaked something in my neck overnight and I can't move it side to side. So I'm quite robotic. I'm having one of my protein muffins and a coffee for breakfast as always. It's just past nine, I'm just feeding the dogs. And luckily, luckily, our masseuse is coming today anyway and she just comes every two weeks just to kind of keep on top of our bodies and any aches and pains we might have and then this morning by chance I wake up with ah, the stiffest neck ever it's all up one side into my head and it's quite painful the exact same thing happened when we were in London at the pop-up shop I think it was the bed that we slept in and I don't know what happened last night I don't know why I just slept funny I had great plans for the morning to go to the gym early before she came I had planned to, to um, record a recipe video and I wasn't planning on actually vlogging but now I am because I'm in horrific pain so I thought I'd share with you guys. It's now 9.30 and the Asda delivery has just arrived and I'm just going to take you through what I got today. A lot of people ask why I get Asda delivered rather than going to the actual store. It's for convenience. Why would I leave my house and spend time driving, parking, packing up? and taking it out of my car, all that kind of stuff, when I can just simply do it online and get it delivered to my house. Starting with one of my essentials, Pepsi Max Cherry. I get one eight pack and it lasts me the entire week because I have a wind can in the evening when I'm craving that sweetness. For my baking, I use gelatin a lot, but they have this veggie gel, so this is suitable for vegans and vegetarians. And you can just add this to puddings and stuff like I do on my cooking channel. And here we have all the carbs. So we have some of the Sun by Tall Grain popcorn in sweet and salty. We have some sweet chili snacker jack and if you haven't tried these already butter kiss yogurt coated popcorn they are delicious here we have our bread i like these protein bagels from warburton's they're really good macros and they're just the perfect size for breakfast and also this hovis nimble bread i like to have that in the morning as well toasted starting with our favorite for baking the Faye total zero percent yogurt i just get one of these a week and it usually does me for baking and for just eating on its own as well adding to smoothies etc as I've said before, my favourite are the super fruity, so Lex likes these ones, which are the papaya mango, but unfortunately I am a little bit sensitive to mango, so I don't have that one. And I enjoy the blueberry, strawberry and koji berry, super fruity, and you can see it's a layered yoghurt. Really good macros per 100, and each of them is 100 grams. It's zero fat. 5.4 carbs and 7.8 protein so a good protein hit as well as low in carbs and fats lex really enjoys these light crumble inspired you know he loves his rhubarb crumbles so i got him a rhubarb and custard yogurt and um, they're a little bit higher in carbs these are 165 so per 100 it is 0.1 fat 8.4 carbs and 4.7 protein so a little bit lower in protein and higher in carbs but good for Lex to have for a snack I get these little protein pots they're just handy for if you're traveling and you just want something quick they have like little pieces of chicken and it's just portion control it's all there on the label you can just scan it into your my fitness pal I love these quark cooking cheeses you can add them to pastas and different dishes and they're just really nice flavors and again loads of protein you've got 9.9 .9 grams of protein per 100 and 4.7 grams of carbs 0.3 fat so perfect for adding to recipes for dinner time as always my standard dairy free milk is the coconut almond milk i just love the way it tastes i'm not opposed to dairy at all i just really enjoy the taste of the coconut almond milk and it has really good macros per 100 it's 1.3 gram of fat 2.6 grams of carbs and 0.3 grams of protein so you're not going to get any protein from it but it's lower in fat and carbs than a lot of your dairy alternative milk i add balsamic vinegar to so many of my recipes because i just love the taste and i like to get a nice big bottle every so often and have it in the cupboard keeping on our cooking buzz i got the fry light butter spray as you've seen i use that a lot in baking and the garlic fry light which is perfect for stir fries and it's only one cal per spray as it's nearly halloween i got these for lex these pumpkin shaped crumpets lex loves a good crumpet and they're a great pre-workout because there's a no fat in them and about 19 carbs so perfect to get a carb hit before the gym and as you can see they're quite substantial and they've got a little 
smiley pumpkin faces on them. Another one for Lex is the Fiber One bars. They come in a variety of flavors. This is Lex's favorite flavor, the lemon drizzle. They also do a salted caramel, which is amazing, and a chocolate brownie. And again, they're low in fat and higher in carbs. Per little Fiber One bar, you have 2.8 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, and 5.2 grams of fiber. So they're a good source of fiber too, hence the name. On to our fruit and veg. As you all know, Lex loves his berries in the morning with some yogurt, and he also likes these pineapple sticks. They're very handy because it's portion control again, and you just get five of them for a certain price. I got some grated carrot because Carrot is a pain in the bum to grate, and for this whole bag, it's 150 grams and it's only 30p, so it's not too expensive for some lazy cooking. And you can add this to carrot cakes, to um, stir fries, curries, whatever you want, and you're getting some veggies in there sneakily. My favorite of all time are chestnut mushrooms. I love them, Lex hates them, so I just eat them in private on my own. I love mushrooms. I got these sweet peppers to make a soup. So I'm gonna roast them with some sweet potato and make a nice soup for it. Courgettes for the health. Lex hates courgettes, but I like making courgette and adding them into stir fries and pastas and stuff like that. We have some spring onion. In Ireland, we call this scallion. I like to add this to my Thai chicken burgers and also just for salads and stuff. It just tastes good. It's strong oniony flavor. And last but not least, we have these little tubs of pineapple. Again, Lex loves these little pineapple tubs because they're just handy sources of carbohydrate. Pineapple is an anti-inflammatory. It also helps in the synthesis of protein. So great to have in the pantry. And I can also add them into stir fries and into curries and fruit salads. Two pooches have just come in for me and outside in the rain, doing their wheeze, doing their poops. They're all wet, so we had to dry them off, and Roxy doesn't like getting dried with a towel, but Bailey does, because Bailey likes getting pampered. I've taken some of my ibuprofen, so it's taken some of the inflammation down on my neck, so it's a little bit less painful, and I'm just having breakfast now. So I'm on my usual smoked salmon, egg whites with cheese, capers, and some of the lightest Philadelphia. What I've done with the smoked salmon, it comes in this big, huge portion from Muscle Foods. So what I do is I weigh it out and put it into little sandwich bags and then freeze them with a little slice of lemon. And then you just take it out the night before and defrost it, and it's perfect and completely edible, and at least it keeps it nice and fresh. I was going to do my rower today and I was going to do arm training and I was going to do a lot of things today but as I am injured now I'm going to have to take a little bit of a step back today. So I'm just going to do my stepper which I haven't really done in a while but I'm going to do that for about half hour just so I feel like I'm doing something. Then I have to wash my hair and it's going to be really hard with my not being able to turn that away and, and then our masseuse Rebecca will arrive and will hopefully sort out this pain. The ibuprofen has kicked in so it's not quite as sore but I'm still following intuitive eating, I'm not tracking my food and to be honest I'm getting really good results. My weight is just kind of um, dropping bit by bit, not dramatically or anything and I'm not looking for a dramatic drop in weight but it seems to be working. Me and Lex are going out for meals and I'm still making good healthy decisions. I'm still getting healthy food into me as you've seen this morning. To be honest it's a nice break from tracking since I've been tracking consistently for about three years. I will keep this up for the next couple of weeks and then maybe coming up to our honeymoon which is at the end of November I might do two weeks of more um, stringent tracking and cardio again just to get myself in shape before Sri Lanka. Cardio done. I'm now going to go and attempt to wash and dry my hair with my sore neck. <laughs> oh, I hate being sick. I'm not sick but I'm sore. I even woke up with it this morning from the pain. If anyone has any tips for overcoming that crook neck, message me below now please because this has happened to me before. Fans, I take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd have all the parents, ain't nobody paying.